Hey class, this is uh, Professor Nick Zdensky at uh, UNC Charlotte, and uh, today I'm just going to uh, record a brief demo for you about how to turn your uh, two-dimensional or, or non-thickness uh, site model, uh, that's, it's 3D, but it has no, no thickness to it, uh, how to turn this into um, a solid model, uh, like a solid wedge, um, like a big block of cheese, so that you can take sections uh, through it and get poche. Okay, so I've got the two-dimensional uh, site model that we made uh, in week three, and uh, again I say 2D because it has uh, has no thickness. And uh, so the, the the idea is to actually get this to uh, to become a solid. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, first first what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the uh, the curve from object tool. So I just hold down the mouse and uh, until that pops out, and I pull it over here. And there's lots of different uh, tools. And the ones we're interested in. Uh, are the you know like we're gonna do we're gonna do like a duplicate border, okay? And uh, so I'm gonna click the object and then duplicate border. And what that does is that that creates uh, a, a curve that goes all the way around uh, that edge. So it, it just makes like one closed curve, okay? And then um, so the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, go to top view. And I'm gonna draw a plane. So I'm gonna pop out surface just to show you this. And I'm going to the rectangular plane tool. And a plane is a is a is another surface that has uh, no thickness, but this time you know it has no it has no um, z like dimension. It's not. It's just flat. So we're just gonna make a plane. And if I'm looking in perspective. This is what happens. So I've got a plane and I've got my my thing. I'm gonna go ahead and go to right view. Now, you can see our site and the depth that it that it goes to, and you can see our uh, plane that I just made. Okay, the distance between you know the top uh, surface and this plane is going to be your thickness, and so your plane has to be, you know, you don't want it to be inside of it. You need it to be lower than it. Okay, and that's what's going to create your crochet. And so whatever position that this thing is. Is going to be the thickness of your crochet. So if it's down this low, it's going to be very, very thick crochet. If it's here, it's going to be very thin. And you pretty much just want it, you know, I would say around here, um, close enough so that you have a little bit of distance between your lowest, uh, the lowest point of your surface and the uh, plane. Okay. And um, you can do this, you know, after you've made cuts, uh, that's fine. You can do this. Um, before you start making cuts, that works just fine anyway. Uh, but this is just the general technique. So I made a plane and I move it down below my surface. Now I'm gonna go to top view. And just for clarity, I'm gonna go and hide my surface. I'm gonna project my curve to that plane. Okay, and why do I do that? Is because the curve, the top curve has some um, uh, has some Z points, has some, uh, you know, it, it, it moves into Z. What I want, I want my base to be flat. So I project it so that, you know, it's going to be flat, okay? And then I can delete this uh, plane. So I have a flat one and I have a non-flat one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and, 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 and I'm gonna um, create a surface um, out of these, okay? And um, I'm just gonna draw, at two corners, I'm just going to draw, I'm going to turn off project here. So just end, end point snap, I'm going to draw a point. So it basically creates like a straight line. Okay. And then I'm going to do a rail. Actually, sorry, sweep one. Sweep one. Okay. What this is, is that it, it will take a take cross section and sweep it across a, a curve. And uh, so the, the rail, the thing that it gets like pulled across is this little line. And um, actually, sorry, the rail is this line, and then we pick the cross sections, which are these two pieces, and uh, adjust curve seams. I think it's just you can just go with like the default, and then it just it basically pops in. Okay, and we're gonna say do not simplify. It's gonna be a free form surface, and that's basically gonna give you. Just show it and rendered here. It's gonna give you a nice crisp surface. Let me go ahead and undo that and redo that. Um, it's just so I'm clear about. So what I did was, 
delete that. I have my two, my, my top and my bottom curves. And I draw the rail, which is just connecting these two corners. What it is, if you look at it, is a line that's just straight up and down. Right? You can do this with any corner, as long as you have a corner. And we'll do a sweep one, because I have one rail. So sweep one. The rail is this uh, line, the rail line. And then the cross sections are my two um, curves. And I'm just going to use the default. So just press Enter for adjust curve seams and use the default settings. It's my freeform, OK. Depending on your service, you may need to adjust this, but this is good enough. Um, OK, so I've got that. And then lastly, uh, what I want to do is take that uh, curve and select it, the bottom one. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and hide this. And I'm going to hide this. Take this curve. And this is flat, right? We made this uh, from a uh, projected curve onto a surface. I'm going to go ahead and make a surface from a planar curve. OK, so that's what this is here. Um, sorry, this one, surface from planar curves. And all it does is just makes it, uh, makes it a surface. It's a flat surface. OK, let's show. And that's exactly what we want. So we have sides at a bottom and a top. And remember I told you the first day we talked about Rhino, right? If you have, um, you know, watertight surfaces, uh, if all your surfaces join together, you know, and um, all the edges line up together, and you select them, and you join them, you get one uh, solid surface. So I go into details here, closed solid poly surface. Okay, so that, that is a solid. And if I go in and I take a section of it, oops, snapped to something here. Let's do that again. <clears throat> if I go and take a section of that, let's do it from the top view. One more time. There we go. Okay. Don't take sections in perspective. <laughs> it doesn't work very well. You get, uh, you know, a uh, crochet section. Same with contours. Okay, let me just delete these uh, curves, these extra curves here. Check that out. Okay, so again, if you do that, and you can do this after you've already cut your roads and cut your um, cut your stream and that kind of thing, but but um, that general kind of idea of, of taking the edges, constructing a solid, um, will get you your nice solid poche without you having to do a lot of additional uh, work, okay? Just out of, just for curiosity's sake here. Let's contour this. So we can do 100, 100 foot contours. Amazing. And let's <clears throat> hide this. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, these curves are kind of in the way here. But so you can see we have the crochet. Delete that extra one. There you go. Okay. So um, that's the general procedure for, you know, creating a solid um, out of a uh, surface. Okay. Out of a complex surface. So again, if I go back, we started from this top surface, and you can do this with any kind of complex surface, and you and you and you find the borders of it, project that border down to a plane to get the base, rail sweep, or sweep one these these uh, two curves together, make a planar surface out of the base, a uh, base curve, and then join them all together. You have watertight, solid surface, and you can three D print this. You know, this is actually this would be a method you'd use to turn the topo that you converted uh, into something that you could print on the Z Corp, or perhaps uh, the CNC machine. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have questions, as always, uh, let me know. I'll see you in class.